I believe, okay, this is where I would argue with so many people. You know, why the Chinese are so good at business, you know? Why the Chinese are so... Because their mother, their father, their grandfather, their grandmother, their great-grandmother, they're all business people, you know? So it's in their DNA. It was passed you from one... You sincerely believe that? I sincerely believe that. I'm not a doctor, but I believe in that, okay? Was, uh, after this, when I get out of your studio, people will fire me with all this theory lah. That I don't care. But I believe in it. You know why? Because, you see, um, um, uh, I noticed that, you know... It's very easy to introduce a certain concept to the Chinese. Yeah, that's what my father believed. Uh, he, my late father, he believed in that because uh, my father was the only Malay teacher uh, uh, who was uh, a teacher in a Chinese school in Malacca teaching mathematics. That's you know, very, very that's rare. very rare. Malay tak pandai uh, mathematics, Chinese pandai mathematics. But there was a Malay teacher, his name is Sulaiman Atan, teaching mathematics in a Chinese school. So my father was so impressed with all these Chinese family businesses. You know what he did? Uh, so he bought this piece of land in Limbongan, Malacca. At that time, I remember I was in Standard One, 1969. Uh, so he built a house. So next to the house is this huge piece of land as big as a basketball court. So he forced all of us, the we, three of us uh, brothers, so okay, tanam pokok, sayur. So we planted lah Kobe, not Kobe, uh, kangkung, uh, bayam, whatever, spinach, uh, ladies' finger, beans. Eh? And nobody planned what happened later on. Who's going to consume all this? And then my father said, brilliant. Now you sell to all the neighbors. So at the age of. So, so I, I started selling kangkung at the age of six or seven when I was in Standard One. And guess what? I enjoyed it because we got to keep the money. You know, and when we go to. Uh, that time they called tuck shop. They didn't, didn't call it canteen. You go to the tuck shop and. No, I don't know. Do, do they call tuck shop today? I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, no. Tuck shop means canteen like, at that uh, time. Canteen, so go to yeah. the tuck shop and, and, uh, for, and I think we were very rich then. So we brought 50 cents to school and that was that was like super duper rich yeah. so we got to keep our money so then uh, I actually enjoyed business now that was what the Chinese uh, family uh, had been teaching their kids for generations so that my father was a Malay man never had business before in his life but because he's associated uh, he, he associated a lot with the Chinese uh, businessman so he said this is something good about the Chinese that the Malays would have to learn so he passed that to us you know what I enjoyed doing that so when I was when I went to Malay College and I got really good grades I was sent by the government to America and the scholarship was so sick it you know uh, we couldn't afford lots of things so I decided me and my friends so I'm very entrepreneurial hey, let's sell curry puffs you know, all these Mat Saleh would love our curry puffs don't make it so spicy so we, we made the curry puffs bigger so we sold like 50 cents so we got so much money we bought ourselves cars I bought a Renault they bought this really ugly that's, car that's yeah. a lot of yes, yes, yeah, yeah. money yeah, yeah. and, and uh, my, my friend bought this really ugly car called Gremlin only in America so you google Gremlin Gremlin it's a uh, it, it looks like a uh, it looks like an elephant, you know, but, but we managed to, we bought cars. Because uh, um, but what my father did, because uh, I actually lived in me, so I was actually entrepreneurial. And then uh, I came back, I, I uh, when I was in TV3, uh, I, I actually was the one who drew up the syllabus uh, when, when they started Academy TV3. So we actually did consultancy on, and training for uh, companies uh, 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 in, in uh, on uh, that's another arm of Academy TV3. So I was part of it. So that gave me the confidence of doing this. Now when uh, when I ran Awani, when I was managing Awani, I actually ran it like an entrepreneur. So I, I got a little bit of a free hand to actually uh, decide on certain things. So it is very important to have that entrepreneurial skills ever uh, since you are young. If not, it's very difficult for you later on. Yeah. Yes, you go to MBA school lah, but then you you don't know how to do it because you have never done it before. So for me, I was given the exposure at a very young age. Ta-da-da.